to pick up a little bit more on our ADSB discussion <laughs> because I know there's somebody's going to have a question and if they don't ask me they'll go look it up themselves or they'll just say wow I don't get it to give you an example of what you can do with ADSB we're looking at flight radar right now flight radar 24 which is at flightradar24.com and I'm only using ADSB data. So in other words, what we just did in our previous video, and I showed you how I can see what aircraft are out my window here using virtual radar and dump 1090 on the Raspberry Pi. There's multiple ways to do it. If you don't want to do a Raspberry Pi, you can just get a subscription to this website. The subscription, so basic free account gives you this, you know, silver gives you this, and it goes up from there. Um, personally, I like Flight Radar. It's a quick little tool because I can have some fun. Like the other day I heard helicopters um, flying over multiples. They were down here at Joliet. And I could see that there was one right here facing in the northwest direction, one right here facing in the northeast direction, well, what were they doing? So it kind of got me to focus in on the I-80 bridge because I know this section of I-80 is in need of severe maintenance. Well, I correlated that with a news report from WJOL, the Joliet AM radio station. And there was indeed in the eastbound lane a pothole that had big pieces of rebar sticking up and it flattened tires so the news shoppers were out there <laughs> to get their little report. Well, let's go up and take a look at Chicago. What do we have here? N91YY which is I love it. It's 911. <laughs> that is the Chicago police helicopter. You can see a photo of it right here. Flying at 950 feet. Fairly often as you start looking around you'll see more and more helicopters a lot of them are medical flights, some commercial, some business, and you can see the different types of aircraft. So we know that this is a small Cessna recreational type aircraft. The profile actually matches the aircraft. So the silhouette you see matches the type of aircraft. So here we're looking at a Delta Airlines. I have multi-select turned on. You can see it up here in the corner. Um, you can select one aircraft or multiples. I like to do multiples because particularly in the case of those helicopters, I can click and see are they heading to the same place or not. A um, couple weeks back I saw some A-10s cutting across this part of Indiana. I don't know where they going to uh, Air National Guard base over here and I can't remember off the top of my head where it's at. It's not South Bend. I know somebody's probably going, it's blah blah blah. <laughs> Fort Wayne, there we go. There's an Air National Guard unit located here alongside of, here we go. So they were probably something to do with this Air National Guard unit. Um, so yeah. There's a lot you can do with it, but then again, if you are really interested in flight radar or flight aware, any of them like this, they give you the opportunity to provide data to them from your location and enhance their data that they see. Um, so in this case, we'll just take a look at flight radar since we're here. Right? You can build your own. Right? We just went through this in a previous video. I showed you how to set up RTL SDR. I showed you how to set up Dump 1090. Um, and that's it. The basic Raspberry Pi stuff I've covered in another video. The cool thing is, they have their own distribution that you would burn to the image, you know, onto your micro SD, plug it in the Raspberry Pi, hook up your SDR, hook up your antenna, get it on the internet, log in, and you're done. Well, what did they give you for that? 
a free business subscription for $500 a year value. That's how much that data is worth to them. Is it money in your pocket? No, but you're improving a general flight safety system that everybody takes advantage of from Joe Blow radio hobbyists like me to you know the average airline to um, what's the word I'm looking for? Travel agents <laughs> so they can kind of keep an eye on what's going on. If you want to check it out for a little while you can even access flight radar directly flightradar24.com it works for half an hour at that time you'll need to refresh the page but if we pan out this is all of the flights they travel or that they uh, have data for that's pretty damn cool so anything you want to look at pretty much in the world <laughs> you can see right here so let's go up to Alaska we have, actually have aircraft up here at Prudhoe Bay Grand Caravan heading out of Prudhoe that's a good question is he gonna go to the Alpine or the night what is that one nice quit I forgot this quit probably how about this guy where's he going dead horse yep so they're going to the same location, probably taking people from the oil field back out there. What do we got here? Here you go. Canada Dash. Doesn't say where he's going. Oh, there you go. He's heading to Anchorage. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a good general idea of the types of things you can do with Dump 1090. You can just do it yourself, or you can help out everybody else. <laughs> That's kind of cool, too. This one gives you the gray line indicator. So this is sunset, right? Sunrise. So you can see dark areas of the world as well as light areas of the world. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to blather on and on. So yeah, this just gives you some food for thought and... A good reason to check it out. See you guys.